I don't think that repeating I am not the mind, I am consciousness will ever convince me that I am not the mind, it will just be another thought going on within the mind. If I could experience, even for a moment, what it is like to be without the mind, the conviction would automatically come. I think that one second of experiencing consciousness, as it really is would be more convincing than several years of mental repetitions. Every time you go to sleep, you have the experience of being without a mind. You cannot deny that you exist while you are asleep, and you cannot deny that your mind is not functioning while you are in dreamless sleep. This daily experience should convince you that it is possible to continue your existence without a mind. Of course, you do not have the full experience of consciousness while you are asleep. But if you think about what happens during this state you should come to understand that your existence, the continuity of your being, is in no way dependent on your mind or your identification with it. When the mind reappears every morning, you instantly jump to the conclusion this is the real me. If you reflect on this proposition for some time you will see how absurd it is. If what you really are only exists when the mind is present, you have to accept that you didn't exist while you were asleep. No one will accept such an absurd conclusion. If you analyze your alternating states you will discover that it is your direct experience that you exist whether you are awake or asleep. You will also discover that the mind only becomes active while you are waking or dreaming. From these simple daily experiences, it should be easy to understand that the mind is something that comes and goes. Your existence is not wiped out each time the mind ceases to function. I am not telling you some philosophical theory, I am telling you something that you can validate by direct experience in any 24-hour period of your life. Take these facts, which you can discover by directly experiencing them and investigate them a little more. When the mind appears every morning, don't jump to the usual conclusion. This is me, these thoughts are mine. Instead, watch these thoughts come and go without identifying with them in any way. If you can resist the impulse to claim each and every thought as your own, you will come to a startling conclusion. You will discover that you are the consciousness in which the thoughts appear and disappear. You will discover that this thing called mind only exists when thoughts are allowed to run free. Like the snake which appears in the rope, you will discover that the mind is only an illusion which appears through ignorance or misperception. You want some experience which will convince you that what I am saying is true. You can have that experience if you give up your lifelong habit of inventing an I, which claims all thoughts as mine. Be conscious of yourself as consciousness alone, watch all the thoughts come and go. Come to the conclusion, by direct experience, that you are really consciousness itself not its ephemeral contents. Clouds come and go in the sky, but the appearance and disappearance of the clouds doesn't affect the sky. Your real nature is like the sky, like space. Just remain like the sky and let thought clouds come and go. If you cultivate this attitude of indifference towards the mind, Gradually you will cease to identify yourself with it.